The first song we're going to play is a song, is a song by Paul uh, from the new batch of Paul Fowle songs, and it's called "Happy to Be." There's this sort of, of of way that the older original styles just had this sort of walking yeah. tempo, and then when you sort of add modern guitar to that, we kind of wind up with this funky zone. Yeah. You know, and so I think uh, a lot of guys around town would say you're you sort of uh, well apply more modern technique to traditional forms. Exactly. You know, and I think this is a good example. Of that. So yeah. we were talking about playing from a very large band with five, six, seven guys to yeah. a trio. To solo. So, what are some things that you enjoyed about the large ensemble experience as a player? Did you like doing all the lead work that way? I like I like having that freedom to let someone else kind of continue the rhythm for me, and um, it it adds a lot of space for me to be able to play leads over top of that. You know, and in the acoustic thing, it's I'm playing a lot more percussive and trying to keep a rhythm going. And um, but I do like playing in a large band setting because. 
I can focus on singing and playing the lead more than I have to worry about what I'm doing. You okay, know? so now when you're taking all that and you're doing that as a, a small ensemble or even solo, yeah. what are some things you like about the solo experience? Uh, the thing about the solo experience is the fluidity, I guess, is a good all word right. for it. You can, you can really go wherever you want to. I, I do a song called Almost Cut My Hair, and it has the same progression as... Uh, the Stephen Stills? Yeah, okay. yeah, and you can do, you can do like, all along the watchtower with oh, it. Sure, you can, yeah. Yeah, he's and you, there's a lot of things, so it's it's nice to be able to pick and choose where you want to go without having to cue a bunch of other guys. But so you're telling the whole band at one time when you're talking to yourself. Exactly. 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 Right. There's something going on with my microphone. If you can't hear us out there, please text into the chat box on your right. Okay. Here. There we go. There. Now people are stopping to wave at me now and. The room is full of happy, joyful, <laughs> technical people. So we have a chat box. You may have noticed it. It's on your right. It looks like a chat box. And as we go through the evening, if you have questions for Paul that are you know, of a musical nature, you can just type them in there as we play. Ladies, if it's personal, you can Facebook. Paul Fowle Facebook. You can get a hold of him there. So um, I think... Uh, well, we're we're looking at how how the older traditional things lend to lend to the new things, and we're looking at how the big things, uh, large ensemble pieces, can become small pieces. Yeah. So we're going to do a song now that uh, well, we've both played this song a lot, and a million we've played times. It, yeah. We've played it with way with many different ways: harmonicas, saxophones, keyboards on ironing, keyboards. On ironing stands, so steel drums, and, one and time saxophone. Yeah, so, steel drums. So is we're going to do we're going to do a old a oldie but a goodie. There we go. Cool. It, it, what are we doing, not, rambling? Yeah, it, it's an E, right? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I was just getting the tune in there. All down. right, I'm ready. All right, we're going to do uh, Rambling by Robert Johnson. Full 
woman crying Lord, I'm leaving this small day With my arms folded up and crying Lord, I hate to leave my baby That woman treats me so unkind Some comments and questions from the audience, so we're gonna we're gonna take some questions right now. Who's our first question, Dan? All right, uh, question for Paul: Who was the first blues artist you saw or heard that made you a blues convert? Mm, that's a good question. Are you a convert? Were you um, converted? Well, I I did a lot of the acoustic stuff first, and when I wanted to get into playing guitar, I started exploring the blues. Uh, one of my so dad's. Who was that? Who was that? that Where did you get the jolt? The underlying constant thing is the whole time has been Clapton. All the right. first song that really made me want to play guitar was While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And I always thought it was George Harrison. Uh, and one day, I found out it was Clapton. Okay, then. So it's always been Clapton, I guess. EC. Is I, mean, I love Stevie. EC. I love all those guys now, but... And we have another question? Uh, well, DW, whoever DW Dennis is. Dennis Wright. That's Dennis Wright. All right, well, Dennis says, Eric, thanks for the new bass riff I stole a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, that would definitely be Dennis. <laughs> And Milk Foot and DW said they may be playing along with you guys at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> more than more, uh, more than merrier. And um, let's see, Milk Foot wants to know if that's gin in those cups. No, 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 no. I, I, moonshine, I'm only, Milk Foot. It's moonshine. I'm not even allowed caffeine here because it makes. I have to drink the. They make decaf for me and everything because they, they they won't let me in the house otherwise. I have to. There's rules in the studio. We have yeah. to follow them. All right, that song that you just did, Ramble, no, my, my, we just did. Where did that Ramble. come from? Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. Okay. And um, still more questions. Dennis says uh, you got to get a fedora, and uh, uh, I got a couple. Okay. Who was it? Says, uh, oh, was that in concert for Bangladesh? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it says the white hat looks good against the red. Okay, good. So, you know, you're a fashion blue plate now. Okay. All right, thank you for all those musical questions, kind dear viewers. All right. Okay, so um, so last year we had the large bands and the big ensemble, and now we're going to uh, a smaller ensemble. So, so when you're writing songs now, are you thinking about a band when you write, or are you just thinking about, well... Initially, no, ensemble. but it builds up to that. You know, okay. I'll start out with just like a harm like a melody, and uh, I sit down with the guitar and figure that out. Okay. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'll have ideas that'll, oh, I can put a tuba here, I can put a right. keyboard here, so... The tuba is coming. It's coming. We, we are all about the tuba. The tuba is coming. For, for As soon as we can figure out how to get one in the compact car and through the door of the club, the tuba is going gonna, is gonna to revolutionize the whole world. All right, so... Um, What's next? Is yeah. So now, um, when you're, when you're um, 
when you're going to write a song, is there a guitar riff or a line that you're looking for, or a certain kind of vocal quality? A little bit of both. Um, I kind of, I kind of just start. I mean, it's sometimes the melody will just come. Okay. Uh, sometimes when I'm practicing my my guitar technique, you know, yeah. you, you'll kind of run over something on accident, and then you just spawn uh, the riff that won't go away. Exactly. And it, it has to be it has to be put into a song. Yeah, like I have riffs from next. years ago that oh, yeah. I still play with, but I can't put words over it. But then some. No, you have to wait for the magic time. Yeah. And you can use it. And yeah. It just hangs around in the yeah. atmosphere until exactly. you use it. Yeah. So okay. All right. So um, when we're uh, when we're talking about about the actual um um orchestration and instrumentation of things are, are are you thinking already when you've got this song hey I know what this is going to be for a band or this is not going to be for a band or this is going to be a solo or do the things just naturally get bigger and smaller um, sometimes I know that it'll be just acoustic um, and it's just kind of the mood whatever I'm feeling like I need to get across Yeah. sometimes you need a band behind that to really push it sometimes yeah. you it's more powerful just with an acoustic guitar by itself you yeah. know so it really depends on the on the on the feel of the song but most of the time I know right away if I'm going to put it in a band setting or if I'm going to play by myself. So. Okay, so now this idea of carrying this sort of Delta mm -hmm. minimalism, early blues feel through yeah. the later things, well, we can see it We can see it coming through in the tempos and the feel. Do you, you, you find there's like a pocket there? Yeah, kind of blues pocket. yeah it's, it's, it's just what I'm familiar with, you know. And then when you're writing, you were saying like the progression is always in the back of your mind. That it's yeah, like when I, when I, if I pick up like a cool chord that I want to use, I'll always try to go to the four of that chord first just to see what it sounds like, you know, like it's a basic blues yeah. idea. Uh, I once played a riff and I said, it's the only reason I ever play a riff is to take it all the way around the block. Yeah. I, you know, so you don't yeah. want it every time. So then exactly. you, so then, you try this. You yeah, try you that. try going to different, yeah. different aspects. So I, I think we're, we're looking at the what used to be maybe slower tempos and slower feel, now you have slower sections. So yeah. you have a section of it and another section, whereas we think of, you know, feeling all right, I'm not doing that good myself. Yeah. Now we have a whole section here. Yeah. And then a whole section from the exactly. next. Exactly, and that's what it starts out as, is just like a little yeah. little thing. So it? Uh, this next song we're going to do is, is is a really good example of this concept of, of the older Delta minimalism things when they get modernized now from more modern guitar techniques. You have a pocket, but you still have this older feel and a newer song. So we're going to do we're going to do another song from uh, Paul's new batch. Paul's new batch of songs, and it's called Keep Getting Better. Yeah, so here we Count go. Him. One, two, three, four. Don't need, need nobody to 
got a feeling Taking me anywhere I want to go It's just a matter of time It's just a matter of time And things keep getting better It's all in how you look at it Your favorite tune, do what you do. All the good things keep getting better. Oh, now they keep getting better. one of those songs like we were just talking about I feel like that's a big band song it's an anthem it's you know it's got a lot of power behind yeah you it. can hear the yeah that's well, what the I hear in there yeah you know, so that's yeah we were talking about that with Todd Coyle He's, he puts the strum right in the groove yep. in the studio so he just keeps coming so yeah. you can see it being small or getting very loud yeah. or something. okay we're back on the Sisters <clears throat> Corner with our guest Paul Fowle mm-hmm. so we've been talking about lines of connection between between very early styles and modern styles and how that might affect the rhythm or the melody of a piece and one of the interesting things about the original Delta Blues is they were mostly unaccompanied pieces so now we play things like Crossroads or well there's many examples yeah. we're going to do that I don't want to tip right yet so we actually wind up adding the drums to it so a lot of times it's it's not clear whether it's going to be 16th or swing yeah. like uh, for example um, Stop Breaking Down mm-hmm. boom, boom. we're not sure whether it's boom, boom, yeah. or dun, dun. and I've heard it done both ways yeah. and both ways are good so we're going to show you a small ensemble <laughs> duet version of a, of a Robert Johnson tune called Rolling and Tumbling yeah Rolling and Tumbling <laughs>
gold color mine. Oh, see this crown with gold. Robert Johnson tunes. Yeah, Robert Johnson tunes. Robert Johnson tunes kind of being the most popularized of the old. There were many, many players in that era. He was just the one they recorded. Yeah. And so there were a lot of people who he was contemporary with. But there was always, there were no drummers, and they sat on the, I don't think they sat at the crossroads, but, yeah. you know, they sat there Someone and played this. And then as you build that up and try to represent that different ways in different time periods, whoever gets recorded, that's the one exactly. that goes. So. The, when you hear the original Crossroads, for example, like you said, you were a big fan of the, yeah. of the cream and all that. So yeah. you know you heard you heard that one, and then you hear the real one mm -hmm. or the original one. It's not quite the same. Yeah. So all of these things get they change a little bit. Okay, so um, oh, the uh, when you're exploring songwriting now as a blues player, right, and then you're looking at different rhythms and different tempos. Are you thinking about what's popular or this or that? Or are you just thinking about what tunes on your mind it's and how you're going to do it? how it comes out. It's usually based off the melody. Um, but sometimes I try to think of like, oh, I need I need something different, like a, maybe like a reggae kind of a feel. Or okay. A bossa Nova. All or right. A, yeah, you know, so, so I try to think in, 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 in styles like that, but not specific progressions. Fear no rhythm. Yeah. I'm about that. Fear yeah. Fear no rhythm. Yeah. Exactly. Every, everybody I've been asking. I, I just like writing yeah. music that's going to make people move and also... Think at the same time. I'm getting a chance to talk to all these songwriters now, right? Yeah. So, so I, I said, well, do are you? Have you got your finger on the pulse of the radio station? Are you worried about? And mm -hmm. all of them, nope, nope, nope. I just play what I hear. I, play I usually I don't I play listen to music in my think, car. It, well, mechanic, only when I'm home. Mechanics cars don't work, and musicians don't listen to the radio. It's just, yeah. it's just the natural state of things. Okay, so um, when you take this traditional line and you go through, there's naturally ways to deviate and do alternative rhythms and syncopations from that it just it's born out of it so we're gonna do we're gonna do um, a song from from paul's new batch batch of songs i think they're gonna think my new album coming out is probably called paul's new batch no it's just chef eric talks about his <laughs> batch i have fuck called it a batch i wanted to call it a batch of songs i think it's a good idea it's a batch you know it's not the whole batch it's not the whole recipe it's just a batch so um so this one has has a nice little alternative rhythm to a backbeat and a syncopation at the same time, it's got an undercurrent of a, a couple of very old pieces, so we're gonna do this yeah. thing. Ready? It's got a reggae feel to it. trying to hide away And now they're taking me with me And I can use a little help Come on over a little closer, babe Cause I won't help myself Truth. 
Come on and make me speak the truth I've been hoping for a young girl I've been hoping really hard One that I don't gotta change for One who can disregard All of the things that just make me a little insecure. Come on over a little closer, babe. Say that you want me more. I hear um well we played we used to play with cat, right? Yeah. So, um, I would rather go, go blind. Yeah. yeah, there it is. That's a good song. Okay, so there there's a progression there. That's yeah. what we're showing here tonight. So we wanna remind you that on the ninth of August we're gonna have Dave LaFleur is gonna be our next guest. We wanna remind you about Entertainers Monthly magazine coming to a fine location near you in September. Make sure to look for that. Articles by yours truly, featuring Paul Fowle, and a songwriter's feature by none other than Todd Coyle, songwriter. He's great. He is. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap things up and we're gonna take it out of here with a with a song that we like to play on stage a lot. Paul Stop likes to play breaking it down. Stop another breaking Robert down. Johnson. We're gonna tune. do another Robert Johnson tune for you. So. And the show will be archived, so you can you can go and be, watch, you can it, watch it again. You want. Because if you aren't watching now, you wouldn't know it's going to be archived later. But you can tell your friends. It'll be archived, and you can go to MaceTV.net and see us there. Okay. I'm Chef mm -hmm. Ferrick, your host, I'm Paul Musicians Fowl. Quarter. My guest, Paul Fowle. Till next time, keep it hot. All right, here we go.
down my street. Some pretty young girl won't have stopped breaking down with me now. Stop breaking down. Stop breaking down. Stuff I got's gonna bust your brain, I babe. Making you lose your mind. Can't walk the streets no more. Contemplate my mind. Some pretty young girl wanna start breaking down my line, babe. Stop breaking down. Stop breaking down. Stuff I got's gonna push your brain down, babe. Making you lose your mind. so much.